good afternoon we'll be studying part 4 of chapter 1 nature of logic we have already studied what is an argument we know that an argument is a group of statements in which one statement is established on the evidence of the remaining statements now we will classify the argument arguments are classified into two types on the basis of the relationship between the premises and the conclusion we have two types of arguments first is deductive argument and second is inductive or non formal argument you can see in this picture or the deductive reasoning how we do if a is equal to b and if b is equal to c then a will be equal to c so this is deductive argument what does this uh, argument state that the conclusion is a is equal to c how did we conclude that a is equal to c because we had enough of information that that is a is equal to b and b is equal to c so the information provided was sufficient enough to prove the conclusion and the conclusion is implicitly present in the premises so now we'll see the characteristics of deductive argument first is in deductive argument the information contained in the conclusion is implicitly present in the premises secondly a deductive argument claims to provide sufficient evidence for its conclusion now we will come to the third characteristic of deductive argument the validity of deductive argument is completely determined by the form of an argument and it is called as formal validity let us see the fourth one in a valid deductive argument where the evidence is sufficient the relation between the premises and the conclusion is of implication what do you understand by this the relation is of if then form that is if the premises are true then the conclusion is true and if the conclusion is false then one of the premise is false means that it is impossible for the conclusion to be false when all the premises are true in a valid deductive argument thus the conclusion of the valid deductive argument is certain and such a deductive argument is also called as sound argument in sixth one the conclusion of a valid deductive argument does not go beyond the evidences in the premises so the deductive argument in deductive argument we do not arrive at a new information you already know that the conclusion asserts what is stated in the premise it does not give us any new information we already know that the evidence is sufficient enough in deductive argument but in an invalid argument the claim that the premises provide sufficient evidence is not justified and therefore the relation of implication does not hold between the premises and the conclusion in an invalid argument so in an invalid argument what happens even if all the premises are true the conclusion is false the validity of deductive argument is determined by the methods and the rules of logic
let us take an example of formal logic all spiders have eight legs black widows are a type of spider therefore black widows have eight legs here the premises are all spiders have eight legs black widows are a type of spider these are two premises and the conclusion is black widows have eight legs now let us know what is inductive argument you can see in this picture in this picture you can see that the boy is arguing my mother uses money my father uses money my brother uses money my sister uses money therefore he concludes that all my relatives use money use money so this is an example of an inductive argument what you can observe in this argument that he is talking about only his four relatives and then is concluding about all his relatives so here the evidence which he gives is not sufficient to prove his conclusion you can see that all the premises are true yet the conclusion is wrong means the conclusion is not implicitly present in the premises the evidence is not sufficient to prove the conclusion let us see the characteristics of inductive argument in an inductive argument the information contained in the conclusion is not implicitly present in the premises that is he is talking about all his relatives in the conclusion whereas um, whereas in the premises he talks only about his four relatives then an inductive argument claims to provide some evidence for its conclusion so it gives only some evidence evidence of his mother father brother and sister which is not sufficient for the conclusion for talking about all the relatives in the conclusion third as the evidence in the premises is not sufficient the premises do not imply the conclusion in an inductive argument means even if all the premises are correct the conclusion is wrong if then relation is not there in this inductive argument the validity of inductive argument is completely determined by the subject matter or the content of an argument and is called material validity that is we say that an inductive argument is materially valid or invalid so generally we say that it is good or bad in an inductive argument if all the premises are true then the conclusion may be false as you see in this example so the conclusion of an inductive argument is probable six the conclusion goes beyond the evidences in the premises in an inductive argument and provides new information thus may extend the knowledge of the world you can see that in this example uh, the conclusion has gone beyond the premises beyond his immediate family and it talks about his extended family that is his that is his grandparents his uncles his aunties his paternal and maternal relatives now the seventh characteristic is that in an inductive argument if the evidence in the premises makes it reasonable to accept the conclusion that is gives material support then the argument is good 
otherwise it is bad and lastly validity of inductive argument is not determined by the methods and rules of logic so it does not have formal validity but material validity now we take the examples first is the doctor told me that rahul is suffering from cancer and he will not survive for more than 3 months 2 months later i got the news that rahul is no more therefore rahul must have died due to cancer this is a good argument because the premises give material support to the conclusion that rahul must have died due to cancer second whenever cat crossed my way in the past something bad happened on that day today morning the cat crossed my way therefore i am sure something bad is going to happen today this is a bad argument because the evidences do not give material support to the conclusion that is the cat crossing the way is has nothing to do with the good or bad happening in the life in this session we have understood the types of arguments that is what is deductive argument and what is an inductive argument in the next class we will be solving exercise based on the types of arguments thank you